The way we watch television is changing. Forget flat screens, many of us now turn to tablets or smartphones to watch TV. No cable? No problem. With an internet connection and a streaming media player, you can access shows on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon. As consumers start getting more and more concerned about paying higher and higher cable bills, they will push back on the cable providers and say, listen, I really don't want to pay these higher bills for this big bundle of channels. Chase Carey, the president of 21st Century Fox, recently called a la carte, that is, selling channels one at a time instead of in a bundle, a fantasy. But will consumers agree if, say, Apple unveils a smartphone-style TV where channels are more like apps? And consider the view of advertisers. People buy the bundle. They don't actually know what they want inside that bundle until they have it. And once they have it, they realize, I really don't need 80% of it. So advertisers will benefit if the bundle's more targeted. For now, everyone's playing nice. Apple is adding channels like HBO and ESPN to its Apple TV set-top box, if users already pay for the programming through a cable provider. Younger demographics in particular are getting more and more used to watching shows when they want, where they want, and on whatever device they want. So that's a real challenge for the pay TV operators. John Oluk and Bloomberg, Los Angeles.